Hi everyone, welcome back to our session on projection of lines. In the previous session, we discussed about projection of lines parallel to both planes, perpendicular to one plane and parallel to the other plane, inclined to one plane and parallel to the other plane. In this session, we will be discussing about orthographic projection of lines inclined to both the planes. So, let's move on to the animations. Okay, right. Okay, we are going to start with the line inclined to both planes. Now, you can see there is a, we have kept a quadrant here. We have this pink as the vertical plane and this white, almost white, of white is the horizontal plane. Okay, now what I am going to do is I am going to place, place a line which is inclined to both planes. So, I am just going to place a line inclined to both planes. In this 3D view, you are not able to see the inclination with both HP and VP. You can see just uh, it is almost inclined to HP. But uh, when you look at the front view and top view, when you look at the orthographic views, you can see that it is inclined to both planes. So, let us uh, see that first. Let us look at the front view. Okay. So, see that if you look at the front view, it is inclined to HP. As we all know that HP is this line when you look from the front. And then if you look at the top view, yeah it is inclined to VP also. Okay, This is the top view and the one that we saw before was the front view. Now, let us, uh, the, our next aim is to mark the distances. Okay, So, first we will distance uh, mark the distance of each point that is the left end. Now, let us call this line segment as AB and the left end is A and the right end is B. Now, we will uh, do the markings later on. So we, uh, when you when we do the markings, things will be more clear. Now here we are just going to measure the distance from the vertical plane. Measure the distance of each point from the vertical plane. So we'll just measure it and we'll mark it there. Okay. So first of all, the distance of the point A from the vertical plane, and then the distance of the point B from the vertical plane. Okay, we have just marked the distance of point A from the vertical plane and the distance of point B from the vertical plane. Now we'll do the same thing. We uh, we have to now we have to mark the distance from the horizontal plane. Okay, for that we'll just rotate it like that, and now we'll mark this distance, which is the distance of point A from the horizontal plane, and this is the distance of point B from the horizontal plane. So, we will see that, yeah, we have marked the distance from the horizontal plane, distance of point A from the horizontal plane and distance of B from the horizontal plane. Now, we see the three-dimensional view. If you look at the three-dimensional view, you can see that, you can see the line, you can see the distance from the vertical plane of A and distance from the vertical uh, plane, okay, uh, uh, from the horizontal, sorry, from the horizontal plane of A and similarly, the distance of the distance of uh, B from the vertical plane and distance of B from the horizontal plane. Okay. Now, what I'll do is I'll switch on the lights. I've not switched on the lights. So, when I switch on the light, I'll, uh, I have a light from the front and from the top. So, when I switch on the light from the front, I can see the shadow of this, this actual line on the vertical plane. And when I switch on the light from the top, I can see a shadow of this line on the horizontal plane. Let us see what happens. So, I have switched on the light. When I switched on the light, you can see this is the shadow where of the uh, line when the light from the top is switched on and it is formed on the horizontal plane and when the light from the front is switched on, you have a shadow of the line on the vertical plane. And these two shadows, these, uh, these shadows represent the distance from the horizontal plane and the vertical plane. Similarly, these two. Okay. Now, one thing that we have to keep in our mind is when a line is inclined to both planes, the projection, the projection doesn't show the true length. We have seen that when we uh, discussed about parallel to both planes, inclined to one plane, etc. So, I hope you remember those things. So, this, the true length of the line is not visible in this particular case. Okay. In this particular case, the true length of the line is not visible. 
on the horizontal plane or the vertical plane or the front view and the top view doesn't actually give us the true length of the line because this line is not parallel to any of these planes okay so our aim is to find out what is the true length of the line and what is the true inclination of the line we'll see that okay but before that since uh, these are just shadows I'll just mark these and then uh, switch off the lights in order to uh, draw the actual lengths okay so we'll just mark these first of all we'll mark the points a and b and then the distances from the horizontal plane and the vertical plane now here this a prime represents the front view of point a and the b prime represents the front view of point b now similarly we have the <coughs> front view of the line this blue line this light blue line greenish blue peacock blue or something like that okay that line is actually the front view of this the line that we have already considered and it is represented by a prime b prime and here we have the top view now this is the top view and it that is represented by a b okay now what I'll do is I'll switch off the lights and then we will remove the line and see the front view and top view in the three-dimensional view and then we'll see in the two-dimensional view we'll open the quadrant system and then see the two-dimensional view of this okay so I'm just I've switched off the light I've removed the line now you see you can see a prime B prime here and we have a B here and this is the distance of a prime from the horizontal plane and this is the distance of B prime from the horizontal plane and these are actually the distance of the line segment itself from the but uh, horizontal plane and this one and this one are the distances of the line segment from the vertical plane okay now we are just trying to convert that into a 2d by opening the quadrant system and I'll just rotate it so that you can see the front view see that okay this is a straight line okay this is a single line a prime and a will be in a single straight line and B prime and B and B will be in a single straight line you have the front view here and you have the top view here okay always keep in mind that this is not the actual inclination or this is not the true length you see the true length only when a line is parallel to one of the planes and that is when the line is parallel to HP you see the true length of that particular line in the top view when the line is parallel to HP you see the true length of that particular line in the top view and when the line is parallel to VP you see the true length of that line in the front view in this particular case the line is not parallel to any of the planes it is just inclined to both the planes so you don't see the actual length okay you don't see the true length now how do we see the true length in order to see the true length we have to make this line parallel to one plane and then see the now if you make it parallel to the VP then you can see the true length in the front view and if you make it parallel to HP then you can see the true length in the top view okay now our aim is to make this line parallel to HP and parallel to VP okay you can not make it uh, parallel to both planes at the same time so first of all we will make it parallel to one plane and then uh, we will make it parallel to the other one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back the 3D uh, and then place the line back and now I'll sh I'll rotate this okay I'll rotate this and make it parallel to the horizontal plane and then see the top uh, front view and the top view okay so first of all we are going to rotate it and then make it parallel to one plane first we'll uh, rotate it and make it parallel to the horizontal plane okay for that we'll look at the front view see that this is the front view I've switched on the light so this is a prime B prime that the front view I'm just going to rotate the front view so when I rotate the front view and make it parallel as you know that when you, if you after making it parallel if you look from the top then you see the true length of the line okay we have uh, learned that before but still I'm just uh, reminding you so we're just going to rotate that I'll show you the see that the line is being rotated I'll show you the top view and all the other different views while a uh, line is being rotated then we'll uh, then you will understand how that is so first we'll just see the front view first okay right 
Now I have rotated this front view all the way down and have made it parallel to the horizontal plane. Now this is parallel to the horizontal plane. Okay. Now we will see that uh, the same thing, same rotation we will see in all uh, what happens in all different views that is from the front view, from the, the top view, from the side view and the three dimensional view. Okay. We will move on to that. Right. So yeah, see that we have the, this is the front view. This is a top view, this is a side view and this is the three dimensional view. So <coughs> we'll uh, go step by step. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it like that. Okay, the front view, if you look at the front view, I'm just going to rotate the front view. And subsequently at the same time, you can see how the top view moves. Okay, how the top view moves. And when it becomes parallel, what happens to the top view? At the same time, you can see uh, the side view and the uh, three-dimensional view. Okay, we'll I'll explain each step separately. So we'll just start rotating after switching on the light. See that? Yeah. Now this has started rotating. It has rotated a bit. Now see that this line. If you look at the top view, when it rotated like that, the top view actually moved from here to here. It is not moving in this direction. It is not moving downwards. It is moving parallel to this locus, parallel to the locus through which the B is there. Okay. It is moving parallel to this XY line. You're rotating it downwards. It is moving parallel to the XY line. You can see that, see the shadow here, right? You can see the shadow of this rotating in the three dimensional view. And if you look at the side view again, it is moving vertical downwards. It's not moving towards the left. Okay. So you can, uh, keep an eye on all these. So let us see what happens when it becomes parallel. Yeah. Now it is almost parallel. Now when it is parallel, when it is parallel, see that the line has moved from here to here. Okay. Now this length, I have made it parallel to HP. When this is parallel to HP, you see the true length in the top view. Now this is the true length. As you can see, this line is longer than the actual top view that you saw before. Now this line is the actual true length. Okay. Here you can see it is parallel and here also you can see that it is parallel. Now it is parallel to this is the HP horizontal plane and it is parallel to the horizontal plane. In the three dimensional view, if you look at the three dimensional view also, you can see that you have a parallel line. That is the, when you look from the front, you see the parallel line. And when you look from the top, it is moved from here to here. That is what you see from here to here. Okay. So we will move on to the two dimensional view again. I have just marked B prime, B two prime, etc. B prime here, B two prime, etc. Then we will see the two dimensional view. Okay. Now this is the top view. Okay. Uh, we have the two, uh, top view. A, B is the top view of the line segment when it was not parallel. Now, AB2 is the top view when it is made parallel. Okay. Now, this is just the top view and we will see the whole thing together. Uh, and this is the front view. As you can see that this A prime B prime is the line when it, it, it was not parallel, when it was inclined to both planes. And this is when it is parallel to HP. A prime B2 prime is when it is parallel to HP. Now, we will just see, uh, we will open the quadrant and see the two-dimensional drawing, actual orthographic drawing. Okay. So I'm just going to open the quadrant system. This is how the drawing will be. And uh, we'll just open the quadrant system. So here we have the inclined to both planes. I've rotated it, made it parallel. When it is parallel, I see the true length here. That is A to B2 prime. That's why I have A, A, A B2. That's why I've marked it as B2 here because B2 is given here right a prime b2 prime is the parallel line and this is the top view of the parallel line which is the true length okay so i'll just open that quadrant after removing the line and then you can see the two dimensional drawing okay now see that this is the front view a prime b prime when it was parallel to both planes a prime b prime and the top view was a b i've rotated it made it parallel to the horizontal plane and I drew this as A prime B2 prime and then the top view when it is made parallel you see the top view as AB2 
okay now <coughs> sorry now we will uh, see the next we, we have made it parallel to only one plane right we have made it parallel to the horizontal plane now we have to make it parallel to the vertical plane okay the, that's what we are going to do now we are going to make it parallel to the vertical plane okay so once again I have brought the three-dimensional view I have pl uh, placed the line here inclined to both planes once again it is inclined to both planes initially we made it parallel to HP now we are going to make it parallel to the vertical plane okay let us see what happens now this is the front view and then we'll see the top view there this is the top view now we are going to initially we rotated the front view now we are going to rotate the top view okay let us see what happens when the top view is being rotated now we will rotate the top view and make it parallel to the vertical plane okay see that we are rotating it we have made it parallel to the vertical plane we will see all the three uh, or four views once again just like the other one so here we have we have rotated it made it parallel to the vertical plane and we have marked a b1 okay a b1 which is the top view and a b1 is parallel to the vertical plane when it is parallel to the vertical plane as you know that in the front view you see the true length okay in the top view you see this line and in the front view you see the true length let us see that let us see the rotation uh, in all the all the four different views okay so once again we have the front view here you have the top view here you have side view here and we have the three-dimensional view here now we are going to rotate it with respect to the <coughs> vertical plane or and we are making it parallel to the vertical plane if you look at the side view which is here we can see that it is going to move like this it's going to move parallel it is going to become parallel to the vertical plane and it is going to move parallel with respect to the horizontal plane okay so slowly we will just move switch on the light we are just going to move that okay you see that this is being rotated like that at the same time this is moving like this in this direction it's moving in the locus of B prime that is because we are rotating it like that we are rotating it like that we are not moving it up or we are, mov are not moving it down we are moving it like this parallel to HP this rotation is made parallel to HP only okay as you can see if you, if you look at the shadow the shadow is moving in this direction if you look at the three-dimensional view the shadow is moving outside okay so when we made it parallel okay now it is parallel after making it parallel I have drawn the true length see this line that is the true length this is the top view when the line is parallel to VP and this is the front view and the front view as you know that we see the true length as you can see in the side view this is line is now parallel to the vertical plane in the side view and the top view you can see that the line is parallel to the vertical plane in the front view when since the line is parallel to the vertical plane in the front view you see the true length okay now I switched it off and uh, I will move, move on <coughs> and see the uh, remaining namings and then we will combine all these things and see the final drawing okay so for that we will move on to the next one that is the front view I've made the markings there a prime B prime was the front view and a prime B1 prime is the front view when the line is parallel to vertical plane and that makes a1 b1 prime the true length now we'll see what is the top view now see that you have a prime b prime and a prime b1 prime here which is the true length and I've given b1 prime here because the line drawn parallel to VP is a b1 okay so this is a b1 so naturally I just marked a b1 prime here okay a b a prime b1 prime here okay now we'll open this quadrant and see how this is drawn as a two-dimensional drawing okay see that we have the we have rotated it in the top view and made it parallel to the vertical plane we've drawn the true length in the front view okay we have rotated it made it parallel in the parallel to the vertical plane and then drawn the true length in the front view Okay, so for the final drawing what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the previous rotation also that is 
we have already made, uh, rotated this line and made it parallel to the horizontal plane and we have drawn the true length right in the top view so we will I will club that with this see that here we can see the rotation in both planes that is the initial rotation that is from B prime to B2 prime I made it parallel to the horizontal plane and then I drew the top view which is a true length in the top view okay true length when the line is parallel to the horizontal plane now this one AB I rotated the top view and made it parallel to the vertical plane and when this is parallel when the line is parallel to the vertical plane as you know we get the true length in the front view okay so this is an actual drawing uh, of the line inclined to orthographic drawing of the line inclined to both planes and this inclination is the inclination of the true length with the HP and this inclination is the uh, inclination of the true length with VP the inclination of this pink line with the vertical plane is the inclination of the top view with vertical plane inclination of this blue line with the XY line is the inclination of the front view with the horizontal plane okay so that's all for uh, from this animation now what we'll do is we'll solve some problems from this part and then uh, we will uh, we'll uh, I'll show you the actual drawings of the actual drawings and the solutions okay okay so as you can see this is the actual drawing of a line inclined to both planes I've taken a line segment AB which is having its point A at a distance of 30 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP then point B which is 80 mm above HP okay and uh, this is a measurement that uh, 63 is not something that I have given but uh, it is something that I got as a solution now I took the length of the actual line as 100 mm the length of the actual line is 100 mm and uh, the inclination <coughs> with HP the inclination of the line with HP is 30 degree and inclination of the line with VP is 25 degree okay now this dark blue line represents the front view that is a prime B prime the dark blue line, blue line is the a prime B prime it represents the front view when I rotate the front view and make it parallel to the horizontal plane okay when I rotate it and make it parallel to the horizontal plane then as we have seen in the theory the top view will give us the true length okay so I've made rotated it made it parallel to the horizontal plane as you can see this line a prime b2 prime is actually parallel to the xy line okay now the projection of that when I project it downwards when I extend this line downwards it meets at this point that is b2 initially uh, if you look at point B prime B prime is here and just below that you have B sorry this is B okay not B prime this is B not B prime okay this is B prime and just below that you have B now when I rotate it from here to here you can see that B has moved from this position to the position B2 okay the end of the line has moved from B to B2 we have seen the same thing in the animation that it is moving in this locus okay so I rotated it made it parallel to HP and then projected it downwards and then I just drew the true length the same procedure is done in the front view true length for the front view also I rotated this one right the right line which is the top view I rotated it made it parallel that is a b1 is the parallel line and the projection of that will give me the true length okay so <coughs> the inclination of the front view is 34 degree with XY line and inclination of the top view with XY line is 29 degree the other thing was inclination of the line with HP and line with VP okay line with HP was 30 degree line with VP was 25 degree this is front view with XY line is 34 degree and top view with XY line is 29 degree so you uh, and I hope you understood the difference between that that is uh, when it is the true length 
when it is a line itself the true length of the line itself we say line is inclined to the horizontal plane or vertical plane and when it is the views that is the front view or top view then you say front view or top view is inclined to so, uh, to the xy line okay so i think that is all uh, about the animation in uh, lines inclined to both planes now in the next uh, session we will actually do some problems numeric uh, some application problems and uh, things of that sort okay See you in the next session.